Today I'd like to tie for you an attractor pattern and that is the H&L variant or the house and lot. I like to say it's because you can bet the house and lot on this fly. The hook I have in the vise is a size 10. It is a two extra long dry fly hook. The thread I'm going to use is my Vesis 14 Ot and this is black. I'm going to attach the thread at the eye and I'm going to bring this back halfway and then I'm going to come back half of that And this will be the placement of the wing. And the wing is going to be white calves tail. And I have it in my hair stacker. And you can see in the hair stacker, that's that whole hair stacker is filled. This is 3 8 inch hole. The whole hair stacker is full. It's not packed tight, but it's full. I'm going to even those hairs out. And when I take it out of the hair stacker, I'm going to hold it so the tips will be to the right because that's the way I'm going to tie it on. And I'm going to pull them out. You can see I got quite a bunch there. I'm going to take the loose ones out. They got the long ones. And there's a crimped one. And I want this to be almost the length of that 2x shank and hold the butt ends tight and wrap back and wrap that tight several times and then you can take your scissors and trim that off and trim that off at an angle so you can get a taper in there and then you could go ahead and wrap down the rest of it and then you can see it tapering it off right now and it even slid there yep slid we get a little base down there so it doesn't slide again and tie that down and I'm going to finish putting a base down on the tail and bring the thread back up to that taper now the tail is going to be the same white calf tail and this time when I take it out of the hair stacker I'm gonna hold it the tips with my left hand and that's the way it's gonna go on I'm gonna remove any short ones or scraggly ones and I want that tail to be almost the length of the hook shank and I'm gonna go ahead and trim this I'm gonna trim that off relatively flat Tie that in right there. And that's going to reduce the amount of taper there is on there. There was a little bit too much taper on that. And then I'm going to wrap it back to where the barb of the hook would have been had I not bent it down. The first half of the body I'm going to tie peacock quill and this is peacock quill. I stripped all of the barbels and I'm going to use two of them. I'm going to tie that in up to the taper 
tie them in right at the tail and bring them up to that taper and that's where we're going to end the first half of the body I'm going to take a little bit of super glue and put a little drop on there and I'm going to put a copper wire in for a rib just quickly wrap that to the back and move it up to the front once again take your peacock quill make sure you use well soaked peacock quills and wrap them forward and with the combination of copper wire and the super glue it won't come off and stop them right there at that taper tie them off you can go up a little bit and then fold them back and tie back on them take your poke and snip and remove the excess now I'm going to take the copper wire and I'm going to counter wrap that counter wrap being the opposite direction that you wrap everything else and you may not see this well but I assure you the fish will see it and also the bigger purpose of it is to help secure your peacock quill and if you don't have a super glue you definitely need this tie that in put a couple wraps in front now the front half of the body is going to be peacock hurl if you're using a standard length hook you can take a long peacock hurl and strip off half of it or one quarter of it tie it in wrap the back half and once you reach the hurl go ahead and wrap that and you get it all done in one step I'm going to put a little bit more super glue on there Just that one more drop. Move my thread up closer to the wing. Then wrap that peacock hurl. Then you want this nice and thick. Like a nice thick hurl on the front. Don't be afraid to wrap over itself if you need to. Peacock hurl is a wonderful material. Good thing I had that super glue on there. I just dropped them. And that super glue has them glued down already. Tie in a few wraps. Fold them back. And lock them in position. Go ahead and break them off or cut them off. Now I'm going to lift the wings and divide them. Try to get all little little hairs. Wrap in front of them several times. Okay, now I'm going to divide the wing. I'm going to turn it towards me just a little bit so I can see it. You can use your fingers like this. You can use a bodkin to get a nice division in there. And take your thread and figure eight it. Go through around the shank. Hold the opposite wing around the shank.
And if you'd like, you can wrap around the individual wing posts. I think this is pretty good. Now I'm going to take a furnace hackle, strip off a good amount of that stem because you can see how much we need. I'm going to take this furnace hackle, I'm going to put it right between the wings I'm going to go a little bit further. There we go. And wrap it back to the peacock curl. Make sure you leave a couple bare or a couple pieces of that crew cut. Go to the front and wrap that in. And now if that stem is a little bit long like it appears here I'll just trim that off. I'm going to hold those wings up and I'm going to wrap several more wraps in front of the wing. And I'm going to take that and wrap that. And having that crew cut, you don't get that first barb of hackle shooting off to the back. Trim one more. And you want this hackle to be heavy. This is a good fast water fly. And I'm going to wrap in between the wings. And I'm going to figure eight that hackle there one time and I'm going to move it to the front of the wings need to get a little bit there we go move that hackle plier there a bit and wrap the remainder right in front And try to leave one eye length empty in front of in back of the eye. And I'm going to tie that off. A couple of wraps. I'm going to remove the excess. I'm going to take my bodkin, put a half hitch in there to push any fibers towards the back. There we go, very nice. And now I can tie off a head. Take my whip finisher. Tighten it up. Take my head cement. And I can see I got some in the eye of the hook. I'm just going to take a stray piece of hackle laying on the on my bench here and run it through there. I hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer my channel to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.